is going to be a day in my life as a esthetician um some Saturdays I work some Saturdays I don't today is actually a pretty busy Saturday so I thought why not show you guys what a busy Saturday looks like for me um, I have to be at work at around like 8 30 I have a client at 9 so yeah this is my first YouTube video and I'm excited to start vlogging and showing you guys what my lifestyle is like and it's just so fun to do this so I'm so excited. Right now we just made our bed, washed our face and all of that um, and now we're going to start getting ready. I've been breaking out really badly on my face if you can see. So I haven't really been wanting to wear makeup, but I think we're going to do it today because it's Saturday and I just want to look more on the professional side <laughs> for work today. So we're going to do that. We're going to use my niacinamide. I feel like this has really been helping with the texture on my face and I slowly feel like it's not that bad like i'm starting to feel the smoothness coming back to my face this natural sunlight coming into my room is like doing it for me like i love it moisturizer i'm not a morning person anymore like um i used to work at pete's coffee and do weekends opening shifts at four in the morning or five in the morning and i swear to you i can't do that anymore like i have gotten used to waking up at 10 now so whenever i have early clients and have to wake up early i'm like oh my god it's so hard for me to wake up like i'm just not a morning person anymore like I dread it so much and I used to always be a morning person like I'd be up naturally at like 8 in the morning 7 in the morning and then I just that was it like couldn't go back to sleep and now I'm more of a night owl where I can't sleep until like midnight and I used to not be like that like I would be knocked out by 10 p.m. couldn't go any any longer than that so I'm like what the heck is going on sunscreen guys most important thing of the day very important to wear your sunscreen i always try to do three lines but then it wants to come out stupid like this <laughs> so it's not really three lines but i know it's still a good amount okay i gotta put these clips on to keep my my hair out of my face Start doing this makeup. We'll go with my Anastasia brow gel. I don't want to really add no color to it because if I did want to, I go in with my NYX one with the color dark brown. But I don't really feel like adding no color to my brows and I just want more of that slick look. You're going to catch me looking over here because my mirror is over here. But I'll try my best to look over here with you guys. So we're going to go with our Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use this for like a natural underglow light coverage under my concealer. I'm going to get our Beauty Blender. So kind of blend it out like that. My natural lighting is going away. And I forgot the connection for my um, tripod LED, so 
so I'm literally just using you guys as a tripod but the actual LED part I don't have the connection to turn it on for better lighting so I'm so sorry but we kind of just blend this all out and it just looks really glowy and natural you guys see what I'm talking about and it gives you that really light coverage which is what I like because it's not too thick or cakey and it's just perfect and for the more coverage on my under eye and my blemishes I go in with my um, concealer so I just go under my eyes because I have really bad dark circles so I kind of go like that and then I hit the creases on my nose and then all of my blemishes which I have a lot right now and I just go on top of my forehead a little bit so I kind of just do that and then with my little tiny beauty blender I go in Start blending. Yeah, you better not stop. You got 24 seconds. Can you beat the shadow? God, put you in another. All blended out, and then it adds the more coverage and brightness on your face. It just got so ugly outside. Like, what happened to my natural sunlight that I had? Like, that is so mean. We're going to go in with some bronzer and some blush. Okay, so for bronzer, I use my Rare Beauty contour stick, bronzer stick. I feel like it really melts into your face and it doesn't um, give you that exaggerated bronzer look, which is what I don't like. Like, I just like that light bronzer look. So that's what I like because it really just melts into your face and blends out really nicely. So it just melts really nicely. Like it just gives you that bronze look. And it's so natural and nice. I love it. And boom. So after that, I go in with my blush. I use the Makeup by Mario and Dusty Rose. This has been my absolute favorite thing to use right now. A little goes a long way and I just love that it comes with the brush at the end and it's literally so pretty I'm a blush girl so I kind of like the pinky cheek look oh my god it is 7 30 we have 30 minutes to get it together okay I swear by this Huda Huda Beauty um powder I swear it just blurs out all of everything's so nicely like it's just beautiful and then i go back with my powder blush and just add a little bit on top that the powder kind of took out and i go a little bit on my nose and my cheek and all that shake it we'll go ahead and do our mascara ask me how i'm gonna do all of this in 30 minutes, I don't know. Oh my god, I still have to do my hair. Okay, we're just doing a slick ponytail, that's what we're gonna do. But it's 7.43. Oh my god, guys. Guys, I can't get my hair to act. I'm literally so late. 
I swear it just got like 100 degrees in my room. That's our book. Put some deodorant on. Okay, fit check. We got a black regular shirt. This little jacket and my purse. My black jeans and my, my dunks. So let's get ready really fast. Okay, we are in my car now, warming it up, getting ready to leave to work. It is 8.02. I'm trying to be there by 8.15 because if not, I'm not going to give myself enough time to set up for my client. Um, so yeah, I forgot to put earrings on, my jewelry, all of that. I just rushed. I dropped my ice everywhere, filling up my water bottle. So it was a mess after the last clip that we saw. But we are in our car now, ready to leave. And I will get back to this video when we're there. out but first what I like to do is go on my client intake consent forms that I have them fill out before their appointment so I go ahead and and I find their name and I look at what they filled out to kind of see what I'm gonna be working with um, but I also take a look myself um, so I go ahead and find her name I think I've done her facial before so I also go in my in my files that I have here where I have in record the products that I used on them the last time so that we can be consistent with the products that we use in our services, right? Found hers. We talked, we already had a consultation on what we're gonna work on today. So then based off um, what we talked about is what we're gonna do today. So. <laughs> We just finished our first service. I had a microdermabrasion facial. So we just finished it here. It's a little bit of a mess, but we're gonna clean up, disinfect, and then get ready for my next appointment. I have another facial at 12. So it's 10 o'clock right now. So I have about an hour and a half um, gap. So I'm gonna eat breakfast because I didn't eat any breakfast coming. Um, and I'm just gonna chill a little bit in the reception um, desk area. So yeah. I'm not. As long as you 
jokes, get now in for me. I ain't got it. Hobbies, give me it, do it. I ain't your body. As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem. I don't got nobody just with you right now. But the truth, I look better. I'm It is 11.15 and we have to start getting ready for my second client, which is a facial. So we're going to prep the bed again and kind of get, everything is already pretty pre-prepped because of my last facial that I had. So I keep everything out already. I just disinfect in between clients. Um, so we're going to turn our towel warmer on again and then prep my towels, wet them, put them in there, put the bed ready, get all my products out, any utensils that I'll need, and then we're going to be ready for my facial at 12 that I have. Under you I can lose when I'm with you, how can us lose and miss the moment, you just too important, nobody do fight it like you do, I can Okay, we're all set up now. I have my bed products all out. It's 11:30, so I'm kind of early still. Um, since it is a new client and I've never seen her before, I have a fresh sheet of like kind of all the products that I'm gonna use on her, and I give it to her after. And then I have like a sticky note to kind of write notes to know what I'm seeing and what we need to work on. And then of course my loyalty cards that I give my facial clients. Um, so I have that ready here. So we're just gonna chill, hydrate myself as much as I can. I have my, I read my um, client's intake form, so I kind of already know what I'm going to be dealing with, and I filled everything out, uh, making sure there's no contraindications, nothing. Um, but yeah, we're going to turn the lights off and kind of get the spa vibe going. I'll show you guys right now. So I have my bed set up, so I have my trolley over there that I have all my products. Um, and then on this side, I have my towel warmer, my lamp, my steamer. And then over here is just kind of like my stuff. And then I have this cute little chair area in the corner for them to put their belongings on top. And it's just like a cute little decoration I have. Um, so I close the curtains. Oh, I'm missing a spa room. to make it cute and I kind of just display it on the bed for them. Um, to spray this lavender and chamomile all over the bed and in the air just so that it smells really good and relaxing and yeah, kind of push them in that relaxation mood. And yeah, so let me turn the lights off and show you guys how it gets. We just finished our second client. It went really good. It was her first time getting a facial. And she loved it like it's one o'clock i'm gonna clean up wash everything and then we have a lash lift at two o'clock so i'm gonna try to clean up fast and everything eat my lunch because i'm starving and yeah so let's get to it I Okay, 
I just washed and disinfected everything, my bowls, my fan brushes, they're running in the sterilizer right now. So I'm gonna set up for the lash lift that I have at two, it's 1.30, and then I'm gonna try to eat my lunch really quickly, and then get the lash lift started. How, just how, I got my hair stuck in wax and I need to wash it right now. We just finished our lash lift, now we're gonna clean up again, disinfect and all of that and then get ready to go home. It is 3.15 so it took about an hour to do the lash lift. And then I rung her up and I kind of cleaned my bed a little bit already. And then, yeah, so let's do that. <sighs> Today was a day, literally. It is. 3.33 right now. We got here at 8.30 hours today. Blessed. So, so very, very, very blessed. Thank you. In my car now, getting ready to go home. Nobody's gonna be home. I'm gonna be home alone. We'll figure out what we do. But yeah, let's get on the road, go home. It has been a very long day. I wouldn't be surprised if I fall asleep, take a nap in my room i can't believe i have this whole house to myself like you know when you're like oh my god i love being home alone or i want to be home alone so bad but then you're home alone and you're like this is kind of boring like what do i do that yeah that's me like i ate at like 1 1 30 so it's definitely time for dinner i don't know what i'm gonna eat because I'm the only one here, so like I don't know if I should cook something. I'm not like really really hungry, like starving for like a big meal. So I'll probably make make myself something really small. But I'm just really exhausted. Like I've been up since 647 and just got home and it's literally three minutes till four. Okay, I changed my clothes, I put some comfy shorts on and a different t-shirt. I just kind of cleaned up my room from what I left a mess in the morning from rushing, but it wasn't too much, so it's really nice coming home to a clean room. Um, so now I'm just going to chill in my living room, maybe watch a movie, and yeah. We're going to watch Princess Movies tonight. It's Mulan, and then Aladdin is after, and then The Incredibles. So it's looking like a Disney kind of night, which is perfectly fine. I love it. And I'm just going to... Get comfy and watch the movie. Okay guys, it is like five o'clock now. Um, this is basically what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of my day. Just be home chilling, watching movies on my iPad, ordering unnecessary stuff that I don't need from Amazon or other websites. Um, but it doesn't really get any more interesting than that. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed what a day in my life as a esthetician is like. And I hope you guys like this first YouTube video. And stay tuned for some more videos, cute vlogs, lifestyle, get ready with me, all of that. I'm really happy and I like doing this. Like it's just so fun vlogging everything that I do. If you guys got this far to the video and made it all the way to the end, comment down the white heart and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Bye guys!